I am uh, Phil Rowe, U.S. Congressman um, from the 1st District of Tennessee. Well, I was listening to uh, Bill's comments just a minute ago, Dr. Greer's comments about a liberal arts education, and I could not agree more. I, I have uh, a biology major and a chemistry minor, but a liberal arts education uh, where we had the humanities, uh, we had literature, all those things. And I think that's the, the thing that I enjoy now. It allowed me to become a person more well-rounded. Uh, and, and you learn, I read constantly, and I learned that in college, and I went back not long ago and looked at the books that I had read in college. It was unbelievable that I got through that many books and, uh, and what I read and some of the world's great literature that, uh, that just offers you a, a view of the world that you otherwise don't have if you never enjoy that, those great works of art. So I, I strongly encourage this college to never lose its mission of a Christian-based education with a liberal arts background. You'll never be sorry you, you have that. And as he said, a four-year degree used to be, uh, I'd overdosed on school. I went to school for 24 years, so I o actually took a massive overdose of education, as a lot of people do. And But it's your, your basic four-year degree is a good platform, but many people need a, a fifth year or a, a doctorate degree or further degrees, but the liberal arts allows you to... to um, go in any direction you want to go in. Well, I think, the, let me tell you the great asset this college has. This great asset that you have, and you heard it today during several of the uh, speakers' comments, are the student-faculty uh, associations that you have, is that many years later, um, that relationship you have with a college professor Will help shape your life. I'll give you one example. Uh, the only F, I'm talking about F, I ever made in my life was in high school chemistry. I told my mother I would never take another chemistry class as long as I lived. I ended up minoring in chemistry in college. I knew I was going to go to medical school. I had this professor in, in college, Dr. Derwood Harris, who was my chemistry professor. He was absolutely phenomenal. And I endowed a scholarship in his name because while he, he's still living, uh, because he was such a tremendous professor and he meant so much to so many students. And I thought, why endow a scholarship after he's dead? <laughs> while he can enjoy it and enjoy the, the certainly the honor that it's bestowed him. And you heard today about how that relationship with Milligan College goes back to professors, my own son's relationship with the new president here where he uh, just struck it off, a relationship with him, and in inspired him, and he graduated from here with honors. So that's, that's the key. Um, how, what is your, your son's relationship with Well, he was, he was at the uh, evening program when he got his undergraduate degree here, and that's how he met Bill and got to know him. So it was, it was a, just that relationship, as you will have with some of your professors here, that will last a lifetime. Well, I think stay true to you. I think that's easy. Uh, you stay true to your values. You you have those basic Christian values that you have, that that those principles that you have in your life. If you'll stick with them, you'll be fine. Because you're going to get thrown a lot of curveballs, and there's going to be a lot of gray in the light. But you you have those basic principles. If you stand by them, those things that you were taught probably when you were five or six years old, they'll hold you in good stead the rest of your life. 